Hey hi lovely people welcome back to our happy place I hope all of you are doing great and staying safe as the same here So yes today's video is about rental friendly ways that you could do in your living room for seating space These three ways that I'm going to show you are totally zero cost and on a budget So you can just use all the things that you have in your home and make the space a very cozy one You don't need a sofa in your living room and yes don't worry you will still be able to lounge like the best of them ever before Living rooms and sofas are a pair you don't see broken too often but seriously why not A decent couch is super expensive most of the time and if you live in a studio or a tiny apartment your living room probably barely fits one enough So well Free yourself from the sofa if it's not your thing. There are other more better ways and flexible ways to make your cozy space somewhere you, your family and your friends want to hang out. So right after having breakfast, we shot this video and we are going to show you the three different styles in a couple of minutes for your living room seating space. So this is the space that we are going to show you the three different styles and yes most of us live in rented apartments and not many of us have large living rooms for us to have beautiful couches but yes nonetheless we can use all these little things that are budget friendly so over here i'm using these beautiful pallets that we had you can also use the same or you can just use a thick mattress on the floor i'm putting two together So this is the double up that I'm going to do over here to make it a little more broad as a single pallet would not fit. Just make sure that it is firm and secure. So now instead of a mattress, I am just using these cushions over here for the base. Well, if you do not have cushions like this, you can just use the mattresses that we get which you can use as a base. So the first one is a coastal inspired one. I'm just using this beautiful coastal bed sheet to cover my cushions and I will just show you all the details that we have given over here. So all the things that we have used here for this coastal inspired seating are of teal shades, white and grays. All the elements and the decors that are in this video are all that we had at home. Nothing is bought for this video. Everything is the things that we had which we have used here to create this space and show you how you can also do the same in your homes. So once the seating was done, I'm just going to top it up with a little bit of decor on either sides. So for this side I've used this wrought iron side stand on top of which to secure it I have used this round wooden board. placed a small little teal alarm clock this beautiful shell and a small bird cage so to have a small coffee table in front of the seating i have used this beautiful fruit crate on to the side i've used this beautiful small baby chair on top of which i've placed some decors so now it was time for us to have some hot tea for which i placed our little kettle and both our cups so that we can have a lovely snack time your home is an extension of your energy field this is why practices like cleaning your home rearranging furniture organizing your closet and getting rid of objects that are cluttering your space can have a profound impact on your mind body and spirit so i'm done with the first look that's a coastal inspired seating you can see how beautiful this corner has turned out to be let me know what you think about it The second one is a rustic inspired look. Over here I'm using this beautiful cotton bed sheet. We picked this up from a handloom exhibition. So this has shades of mustard and black and a little bit of tassels on the end which just tops off the entire look. 
so now I'm just going to use this DIY rug that we did which is going to be placed onto the wall and I'm just going to use a little bit of 3mm tape as it is a rental friendly one and uh, you can just do the same just place it on the wall above the seating so that it gives it a beautiful rustic finish So over here for the backrest, I've placed these beautiful mustard cushions. In front of the seating, I felt that this beautiful rustic carpet would go great. So I just placed it here. So for this side, on this table, I used some black and mustard deco which went perfectly well with the bed sheet that we have on our seating. So this side I placed this beautiful wine jar on top of which I placed a bunch of sunflowers. Down below I have this small little vase with pothos in it. So to finish it off on top of this carpet, I placed this straw mat, I placed our juice cock bottle, two glasses and a small little cup with tissues inside. So now even the rustic inspired look has been created over here. You can see how beautiful, how vibrant this place is and the pop of colours over here just enhance the entire beauty. Living room seatings offers the best variety as you can use all the beautiful things in your homes in a budget friendly way. And the main advantage is that they aren't bulky, they are easily movable and they are also replaceable. You can place all those gorgeous looking pillows, throw rugs, carpets and decors to enhance the overall beauty. Place some around a nice rug by creating an aesthetical look and it will become a great visual appeal. So the third one is a tropical inspired one and over here I'm using this beautiful tropical bed sheet that we had got from home center. Every situation in life is temporary so when life is good make sure you enjoy and receive it fully. And when life is not so good, remember that it will not last forever and better days are yet to come. So since this bed sheet had come only with two cushion covers, I just placed two and in the center I just placed a random cushion which goes so well with the tropical theme. So now for the wall deco, I just used these beautiful printouts that we had. You can also do the same as it is very budget friendly and you don't need to secure them with frames or any such things. Just a printout like this would be good. So to the side I've used this natural looking wooden crate on top of which a little bit of greenery as it is a tropical theme. Added some artificial plants as well as a few fresh plants too. So down over here, I just placed this jar with a syngonium plant inside. Onto this side, I placed our ZZ plant with some burlap spun planters, a tropical artificial leaf, these pothos in this jar and a little more pothos in a small glass cup. So just to the side in front of the seating, I placed this beautiful round burlap rug. I just left it as it is, I did not add anything. So this tropical inspired way was also done. You can just see how beautiful it looks. So by creating these beautiful seating living room styles, it creates a multifunctional room, allowing you to have more space and to move around in your living area. It also makes your upholstery cleaning a lot easier and much functional, isn't it? So yes guys, if you have stopped by our channel and wondering what videos we share, yes, you are at the right place. We share DIYs, home decor, organizing and lots more. So please do consider subscribing. Do like, comment and share. Do give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this. Please try some of the styles that we have shown and let me know in the comment section. 
Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Bye for now.